Welcome back to the show. Away from all the talk about football and the transfer market, let's talk athletics. And we we'll have a guest on the show today to deal with that topic right here on the show. I've got Fumi Lai of so the founder and creative director of Nigeria Athletics. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank I mean, you very much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Was it easy for you to find your way down here? Yes, actually, because I came down with oh, my driver. So oh, I thought you were going to run. It's athletics. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> in Lagos. <laughs> uh, well, for you to beat traffic, if you're not taking bikes, probably you get to run down to wherever you want to go to. I've still got Swore on the show today. Probably after the show, we'll go down the lane and uh, run probably 10 meters. Let's see who would um, emerge <laughs> victorious. You fly. Yeah, you fly. helicopters. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. Now, let's talk about you. Now, why did you decide to go into blogging and writing on athletics? Um, okay, so um, I've always been passionate about mm. sports, like okay. from when I was young. Um, um, even in school, I was always reading sports news, mm. um, watching sports um, news on TV. And um, when I finished school, I studied microbiology in school. When I was doing my IT, I knew that I couldn't just be in an office carrying out tests, lab <laughs> tests and everything. That it was too monotonous for me mm. because I hate doing things over and over again. I like to try different things out yeah. and to be creative. And I, I was like, okay, I'm passionate about sports. Why mm. don't I go into this? It will allow me to free myself. It will allow me to explore my creativity and everything like that. And growing up, it was always about football. But during Sydney 2000, I loved, I fell in love with athletics. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'm going to start with Nigeria athletics. Mm. I'm going to carve a niche for myself. Everybody's always talking about football. Nobody knows about Nigerian athletes, True. except blessing or by way. I want people to know more about them. Mm. I want people to know more about Nigerian athletes, both home and abroad. Mm -hmm. So right now, people now see the light that, okay, it's not just about blessing. There are other athletes out there that are doing well for Nigeria, and that was what, that was the major intention. That was my aim, my dream, that's okay. I want people to know athletics the way Nigerians know about football. Mm. And <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that it's now, already working out. Looking at how you uh, gather information, um, how is because in football, it's quite easy for you to just go on the internet and you, you type in a couple of names, you get all the information you have, you need. But how's it been for you trying to get information about these athletes and how's the journey been so far? Um, okay, getting information is, like you said, it's quite hard. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to, I'm always like, train, out of my 24 hours, you mm -hmm. know, okay, let's put out the eight hours for sleeping at night. Like 16 hours, I'm always on my phone try, trying to get news. Mm. I have to go to this site, like to, to them, to these schools, follow the coaches, follow them, the major athletics um, blog sites outside mm -hmm. Nigeria in US and everything like that. So I have to search. It takes a lot of searching. Yeah. You have to search because you have to be right about it. And in fact, when they do a certain time, you know, in athletics, a time is legal or illegal, depending mm -hmm. on the wind. Sure. So you have to be very sure of the wind. You have to make some research. So it's always very, it's always about take, it's always taking my time. It's mm -hmm. always about research, research, research. So that's it, to get the news. And, you know, like I said before, people, Nigerians don't worry about athletics. So even if I get the news, I have to make it appealing mm -hmm. the way I'm going to write it. I have mm -hmm. to be very creative with my write-up so that the first line they see, they'll be attracted to it and say, okay, what is happening? And they'll read it. So that's the thing. It's not just about getting the results and the yeah. news putting it out there for you to be catchy yeah. and for people to really want to say, okay, I like this content, I like this, I want mm. to retweet this, I want to share this, it's, oh, it's another challenge on its own. So mm. it's very, you have to be very creative, like very creative with the write-ups yeah. and you have to be passionate about athletics because knowing athletics is not easy. Everybody very can true. know about football, oh, this person scored one zero, this mm -hmm. person scored two one. But in athletics, <laughs> the time, in fact, some people don't understand the timing. Exactly. They, when you put shortcuts like, um, short codes like, PB. They don't know what PB is, so you have to explain personal best and everything. So you have to know all these things. It's, it has to take passion. It's not something that you just can just double into and say, okay, I want to do this. But you can be a football. If you can be a football blogger. You can just wake up and say you want to be a football blogger football as long blogger. as you know football. Very but true. athletics is not like that. So mm. that's it. Had a tough one. Um, so you have questions to through? Oh, definitely. Um, I understand that you follow a lot of these athletes and could see because you're my like personal. <laughs> yeah, okay. The question I have ground is basically about the all athletics uh, African athletics game coming up in Morocco yes. uh, there was an interesting tweet you put out there about mm -hmm. our record older in Africa Chooks Inikuchi mm -hmm. and the fact that you would probably not be able to 
make it for Rabat and it's just a few days away. So what's up with that? Um, it's not just chooks. Let me just bust your bubble now. It's not just wow. chooks. We have blessing or okay? we have to be a song, we have wow. divine or jewel. So it's majority of athletes based and abroad that mm. are based in US. And why is this? It's because the um, ministry has not paid their training grants for mm. the year. So their training grants to, to come to, to prepare for the African Games has not been paid. And blessing is not blessing Divino Juju and Toby Amazon. They came out um, about last week to talk live on TV, channels TV and TV says that see, if you guys don't pay our money, we are not coming down. Wow. If you think that okay, five thousand dollars is enough for us to, to, to prepare for a whole season when we need like thirty thousand dollars, then you guys should forget about us coming down for, for, for the African Games. So it's not just chooks, majority of the um, foreign based athletes. Um, we'll get to see the athletes that will be representing Nigeria at the African Games will just be those that are based here. Or those in the US that just feel, you know what, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm just doing this mm. for, for myself. Like, I want to see. Or those that are still chasing the, the World Championships qualifying standards. So that's, th those are the people that will come from the US to go there. But if we are waiting on those that have already qualified, like the likes of chooks, mm -hmm. the likes of Toby, Divine, um, Blessing, I'm sorry to say we may not get to see them there. I noticed you didn't mention Brume. Yes, and I said Brume. I'm so sorry. How <laughs> could I? I to be sure. Okay. <laughs> wow. No, how, how could I? You know, I said Brume. I said Brume. Speaking of I said Brume, she's, exactly. she's fantastic. She's exactly. doing fantastic now. Mm -hmm. She's in a fantastic shape. She's in a shape that. If we are going to stick out, if I'm going, if I'm going to stick out my neck and say who is going to get us a medal in, in at the World Championships in Doha, I'll say Essie mm -hmm. because she has been consistent. She's mm -hmm. now the second father, the, the second woman um, in African history to jump above seven meters. In mm -hmm. fact, what she jumped um, on Sunday, yes. seven oh five meters, is 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 further than Blessing Okagbari's PB of seven meters. Wow. wow! And you know Blessing Okagbari is like the, she's the goddess. She's the goddess of the job. Aside um, the retired um, Choma and Jinwa, yeah. so Essie Bume has taken over from from Blessing with mm. regards to long jump. So she's the one. In fact, everybody like. The most athletic faithfuls that are interested in long jump, they're scared of her. Mm. The, the US athletes, the jumpers, they're like, who mm. is this girl mm. dishing out six, nine meters, seven meters? They now see her as a major threat. So I mm. see her doing something great, like in, in, in Doha. Can I ask a question leading from SA? Because most of these um, major players, um, with the exception of Chooks, they all started from um, the youth games that yeah. was held in Delta State some yes. while ago. Yeah. And we were kind of hoping, we had that discussion of uh, air, but is this going to be the season that we have a changing of baton, that a new face, maybe Joy Udo Gabriel or one of the youngins, uh, what's the name of that young um, guy? Rosemary, Rosemary, Rosemary Nana. Nana. That, that eye jumper that. Um, the it, male? The male boy. Best A. A. Yes, whether they will be the ones to step up now. Mm. Is this a season for them? Yes, it is a season. This mm. is a new phase in Nigerian athletics. Okay. We have new athletes that are coming up. It's not just about the senior athletes. We have the young ones that are coming up. Mm. Now, bless you, Kagbari is going to retire probably after Tokyo. Mm -hmm. or she has like three, four, five years mm. more. And when she retires, who is going to step up? Now, the case is not who is going to step up. The case now is among the pool of athletes that we have, who is going to be the major, like the lining force? Because you mentioned earlier on, Joe Gabriel, we have with maybe Chukuma, mm -hmm. we still have the likes of Anne Keme in the exactly. US, yeah. we still have um, the likes so, okay, Toby, 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 Toby is doing the hurdles fine, mm -hmm. quite all right. So, it's a new change, like it's a new face for, na for Nigerian athletes. We have new new faces. You mentioned Isha Wishet mm -hmm. too, Isha Kiri yeah. too, in the male category. We have Divine. Imagine the pool of athletes we have in the 100 meters now. We have Divine, we have um, Isha Kiri, we have Raymond, mm -hmm. we have Enoch, we have Shea still there. Yes, so, okay. imagine amongst this pool of athletes. Now, it's Five years ago, three years ago, there was no male athletes. There was no male athletes that qualified for the world championships. Now we have three. We have two that can still do that at the African Games. Mm. So it's a new phase for Nigerian athletes. And it's not just about the sprints. We talk about the high jump. Now you mentioned best. Best wow. is still a youth. Best is just 17 yes. years. Yes. And he's already jumping 2-1-1 two, one, two, one, one meters, 2-1-2 two, two meters. He did that at national two, championship. Mm -hmm. So you, you see the progress he's having. The female too. Um, we have 
um, what's this girl's name? Esther Issa. Mm -hmm. She's also jumping one eight two meters, one eight okay. five meters. You know, so it's it's really a pool that we are having now. Exactly. Like very. 400 meters to you, you've got Favor of Philly. Favor of Philly is... If she's Favor brilliant. was in like, you, She's like yes, the she's There's the, a whole lot to she, talk like about. She's, she's the major person <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Like, if you're looking at the talent to push up or push out yeah. for the world to say, Favor, I'll stick yeah. out my leg for Favor. All right, uh, there's a whole it. lot to talk about when it comes to the world <laughs> of athletics. And yes, our producer and director is telling me to really round up because we have another program coming up uh, pretty soon in a couple of seconds. So off the air, we'll surely still talk to you about the world of athletics and I get more of your view on everything happening in that world but we'd like to thank you for coming on the show today. My pleasure, always great, always good to talk about athletics. <laughs> exactly. and, and as well, was, thank yeah. you for making it to the show today as well. You're thank welcome. you so much. Alright, keep it locked down to Plus TV Africa because we give you the best when it comes to TV programming. Enjoy the rest of your day.